Do you need a little sweetness in your life? Yes, please. We are gonna make a silken tofu chocolate mousse. Yes, mm. you heard that right. Yes. It is like a cloud of chocolate mousse in a bowl, and it is incredible, mm. and you guys need to stick around and watch this. It's gonna be great. And you don't even put this one on your hair. Mousse. Welcome back to our channel, Living the Alleyway. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Michael. Stay with us, we're gonna show you guys how to get this chocolate mousse made quickly, and it is gonna taste divine. Yeah. This is all the time, literally all the time. <clears throat> oh. All right, the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is put some water into a larger pot. Just go right in with the water. And I'm gonna turn the fire on about medium heat. And what we wanna do is bring this water up to a gentle simmer and then we're gonna put another pot on top of it with the chocolate chips in it. All right, so you can see our water has come up to just a very gentle simmer. And what I'm gonna do now is put another pot, a smaller pot, right down in here. You wanna make sure you don't have too much water in here because you don't want the water to spill over into the chocolate. Okay, our next step is to go in with seven ounces of dark chocolate semi-sweet chips. We are using the Trader Joe's brand that we always buy. It is vegan, It is not. there's no dairy in it. So you can use that or any other kind of very dark, dark chocolate. So I'm just gonna go in with the chips into the bowl or into the pot. And what we wanna do, you can see they almost immediately start melting. We wanna keep stirring these around until the chocolate is silky smooth and melted. Okay, you guys come in and take a look. This chocolate is now silky, silky smooth. It has melted and it's just got a beautiful sheen on it. It's silky smooth and it's gonna be ready to go into our silken tofu in just a minute. Our next step is to open the silken tofu and this is just a, an organic silken tofu that I buy at my local HEB. You could probably find it at Vons or Ralph's or Publix, Kroger, wherever you shop. And all you wanna do is cut this open and put it into the, the blender jar. I'm just gonna put this into the blender. There's no need to drain it or anything. There's no need for that. And then I'm gonna go in with one third cup of soy milk. Any kind of neutral plant-based milk would do. And I'm also gonna go in with a third of a, that was a third of a cup. I'm also gonna go in with a quarter of a cup of agave nectar. Or whatever sweetener of your choice. All right. All that's gonna go into the blender. I'm gonna see if I can get this closed on one try and I did it again, look at that. Oh my gosh, such a challenge sometimes. I'm gonna go in and we're just gonna blend this until it's nice and, nice and smooth. All right. This is our silken tofu mixture. You can see that it's nice and smooth and just creamy. We're gonna go in this large bowl or medium sized bowl with all of the tofu mixture. That's the tofu, the milk, and the agave nectar. All right, now we're gonna come in with our silky melted dark chocolate. We're gonna go right into this bowl of the silken tofu blend. You can already tell this is gonna be so creamy and so dreamy. It's gonna set up in the fridge for a couple of hours once we get it into the serving bowls, and you guys are gonna see how beautiful this turns out. All right, we have the melted chocolate and the silken tofu mix. Now I'm gonna take a nice big whisk and I'm just gonna whisk this together until it is com fully combined and silky smooth. It may take you a few minutes, but just be very patient and keep working the chocolate into the silken tofu mixture. Take a look at that. You can see how beautiful and silky smooth that is. It's fully combined and it is gonna be great. Now I'm gonna serve it up into a couple of serving dishes and then we'll put it in the fridge for a couple of hours and show you guys what it looks like. And I'm just going to take a small ladle and gently ladle this into my martini glass. <laughs> and hopefully I won't break it. I'm going to try to keep it off the sides to the much as much possible as you can so it looks nice for presentation. Aesthetics. Very aesthetic. Michael said he wasn't going to be aesthetic unless he's getting paid, so. That's so true. He's being aesthetic today. <laughs> All right, let's take this other one. Because I'm sure Michael's gonna want one too. Yes. <laughs> I'll tell you guys, he took a little taste. Tell me what. Yeah. It was amazing, <laughs> yes. 
I, there was no flavor of any tofu whatsoever. Mm -mm. It tasted like smooth chocolate. Mm -hmm. Doesn't t didn't taste like soy, which means I at all. I tasted it too. So, but we'll come back. I want to get it nice and cold and firm up in the fridge and come back and do the, the final taste test with you guys. All right, look how beautiful those are. These are gonna be so good. I'm just gonna pop these into the fridge for about three to four hours, and then we'll take them out and finish them off, do a little garnish on top, and do a taste test with you guys. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Do you want some chocolate pudding? You can't have chocolate, but I do have your dinner ready. Your homemade farmer's dog. You love your dog food. I love you, Sadie. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. You guys look at this, how beautiful. Oh. So pretty. So what we did is I just did a little bit of a garnish. I put some powdered sugar. A garnish. Garnish. <laughs> <laughs> I put some powdered sugar and then I put some uh, unsweetened cocoa powder. Then I did some chocolate shavings from a, mm. a dark chocolate uh, tree. <laughs> from a dark chocolate candy bar. It's dark yes. chocolate. Yes. Um, but anyway, now we're going to do a taste test. Are you excited? Oh, uh, yes. I'm going to tell you guys, we only put let this set up for three and a half, or three hours and 15 minutes, so it does not mm. take the full four hours, so I will uh, fix mm -hmm, that in mm -hmm. the de description down below. I think you better go first. You want me to go first? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Just going to go right in for the stuff here. Oh, look at that. So beautiful. Oh, so creamy. Tell me everything. It's creamy. It is chocolatey. You cannot taste soy. You cannot taste tofu at all. It tastes like a decadent chocolate whipped cloud in my spoon. And you cannot tell me there's no dairy in this. It tastes just like a, yeah. a, a chocolate mousse. It does. Exactly. Exactly. It's there is no aftertaste, no anything different other than perfect no. chocolate. It is incredible. I cannot mm. believe I know we've done it before, but every time we do it, it's like, oh my it's gosh. It's just amazing, yeah. You guys need to make this. You need to make yes. it now. It was so easy. The only time it took, basically, was just the time for it to set up. The yeah. actual putting it together was, was simple and quick. Yeah, putting it together. Putting it together. No, okay, never mind. Thank you. Even Sadie said it's a bad All right, joke. Sadie. <laughs> So we thank you guys for hanging out with us today. We're so glad you came by and that yes. you joined us on this great adventure, this great chocolate, decadent chocolate you adventure. You need this, yes. You need this chocolate in your life. You need a little sweetness in your life. Mm -hmm. um, we hope you guys will give it a shot and mm -hmm. give it a... <laughs> Our little dog's running around Sadie's squeaking. Sadie's playing, it's time for her to eat dinner, so she's got her squeaky toy. We hope you guys will try to make this, and if you do, uh, drop a comment down below. Let us know what you thought. Um, so simple, so easy. And if you have not joined our YouTube channel, please do. Live in the alleyway. Mm -hmm. And if you like this today, give it a big thumbs up. It really does help out our channel. And hit that notification bell so you know every time we come out with a new video. We hope everybody's doing well and staying safe. We love each and every one of you. And we appreciate each and every one of you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye. Here we go. No hands on the face. <laughs> do you need a little sweetness in your life? Yes, please. Okay, let's do this again. <laughs> okay. Hey, that would have been good though. Yes, please. I don't think you should do that. <laughs> Woo! Shamo! Oh. <clears throat> you just like to create content for content. That's <laughs> right. Context for that content. <laughs> okay. I usually go camping with my content. This is what I live with all yes. the time. Yes, you think you do. I'm beside myself. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah, okay. <clears throat> my cheeks <clears throat> hurt. Yes, here Cheekies. we go. <laughs> Cheeky little insect. Do you need... Cheeky monkey. <laughs> this is all the time. Literally all the time. <clears throat> <clears throat> ah, we should do a podcast. But that's only for dolphins. <laughs> no, you... <laughs> you, you all right, here we go. Do you need a little sweetness in your life? Yes, please. That's terrible. <laughs> okay, let's do it. I just do it normally. Yes, mate. Yes, mate. <laughs> Why don't we just scrap that? Let's no, talk about let's tofu. No, keep it doing. We got to get it right. This is difficult working with you. It's like children and animals.